All right, guys, so the purpose of this video is to help you adjust your Forge speed back to where it'll be beneficial um, and helpful to you. Um, so you're not getting too much force feedback to the point where your wheel is not registering everything. Um, I'll get into that here in a little bit. So to start out, uh, you're going to want to go into options and under the option, and this you don't have to have this on all the time, but under option for your steering under on-screen displays, steering set to graphical. Okay. Go back to the drive. Now your wheel force is going to be what your wheel puts out. I run a Club Sport V2 from Fanatec. It puts out eight newton meters. Um, I know the G29s and the G923s, they put out 2.2. Um, so you would want to set your wheel force to what your wheel outputs. If I had a wheel that, that put out 15, I would set my wheel force to 15. And you're never going to change that again. So what we're going to change is the strength of the force feedback. You don't want it too high. It causes clipping. Okay. What clipping is, it sends so much information to the wheel um, that it overloads the wheel and you can't feel everything. Uh, you feel, if you have it set too high, you don't feel everything when you're in the corners. Um, you can run over the curbs and not feel them, um, but you feel you do. You will feel every bump going down the straightaway. But it's too much strength for the wheel to basically um, get and understand and be able to. You're you're not feeling everything in the corners. Okay, so that's bad. So. This is what we're, we're going to do. So, you're going to jump in a car and you're going to use custom controls for this car. I start out with my strength at 8.5. It's just something that I've always done. I've read that's where your, your default is. Um, for my wheel, everybody's different. Um, but once I do that, I use custom controls for this car. I jump in the car and I run a few laps. Now, I bring up the F9 box. Okay, at the bottom, it's got your force feedback strength. So what you're doing is you're going to go run a lap or two. And we are at, I don't know how to pronounce it, Harris, Harris, because that's where we're going to be at this coming week. So might as well get some practice in doing this. Um, but if you take a look at the uh, the force bar, okay, it dips into the yellow every now and then, but it never pegs and stays in the yellow. That is good, okay. So I am feeling the curbing through the wheel um, in the corners. Um, I'm feeling some of the bumps and everything on the straight. So my wheel is registering and it is feeling all I'm, I'm, I'm receiving all the information that the game is sending my wheel because I don't I'm not sending it too much and overloading the wheel. Okay? So what you're looking for after about a lap or two down on that F9 box, the auto button will appear, just like it did a little bit ago. So once that happens, I'm gonna go ahead and finish running my lap. And granted, this isn't the best lap I've, I've done here, talking and trying to explain stuff. Is not the best, but now that I've run the lap, the auto button appears. Okay, I'm going to click that auto, and it's going to change my force feedback down from eight and a half to eight. Now, it doesn't always go down, depending on the car. Sometimes it will go up. Sometimes it will go down. 
But what this will do is this will keep it from overloading the information to the wheel and that way it avoids the clipping. You're going to be able to feel more in the corners. Okay. What, what has been discussed in the Discord, um, some guys have run this really high because they, they run, it's just, they weren't informed about adjusting your force feedback and how to do it so you can feel more. Okay. So if I run this really high and I go back out, <clears throat> I'm going to feel every little bump on the straight. Well, that's cool, but I'm not going to feel a whole lot into the corners. The steering wheel is going to be really tight and it's really strong but I'm not feeling anything. I can run over the curbing. When that is pegged to that yellow, I can run over the curbs and I don't feel the curbs because the wheel is getting more information than it can register. It can only put out eight Newton meters. And when that thing is pegged, I'm running over these curbs and I don't feel them at all. So guys are, they think that because it's a strong feeling in the wheel, that that's, that's a strong force feedback, but the wheel is being overloaded with information and it can't, it can't calculate what it's actually feeling when you have the strength too high. Um, so there were guys that are, running really high force feedback on the discord and it it will if you're used to running this high it will take some getting used to going back down because the wheel will feel really light but after a while you will get to feel you realize you're feeling more in the corners um, you're gonna feel less in the straights but you're gonna feel more in the corners um, with the strength down. So, um, there used to be an auto button here, but I guess they took that away. But the F9 box is your friend when it comes to setting the strength on the wheel. Um, I know, like I said, it, it was brought up in, in my Discord that the link is down below. But it was brought up that about adjusting the force feedback. Um, there were two guys that had it set too high. They have lowered it. It has helped. Um, so I just want to put this, this video out because not everybody apparently is aware of that. Um, but once you do that, use custom controls for this car. Like I said, this strength that is set to eight will only be for this car. So when you go back to a different car, this, this won't affect every car. So this, this is how you can adjust the force feedback for each individual car that you drive. Um, and it helps. I do this uh, because I run two new series every season. Uh, the first track that I practice at, I set the force feedback uh, for the car for the season and then I never have I never mess with it you can do it track by track because it will um, it can change every track based on the corners and and all of that I don't do it for every track like I said I just do it for the first track of the season set it forget it um, it's just when you use the auto button it it, it lowers it enough to where it avoids clipping um, you can adjust that you can play with it and go down a little bit I don't recommend going any higher than what the auto sets um, personal preference I don't recommend it though because if you go any higher you can get into some clipping um, but I hope this helps you guys uh, if you didn't know about that um, just it was a big discussion. Like I said, it was a big discussion in our Discord. So it got me to thinking. 
Maybe I need to put another tutorial video out there. So, anyways, I hope this helps. I hope it makes sense. Um, if you guys have any questions when you're you're watching this, um, go join the Discord. Ask questions. Uh, I can help you there. But uh, yeah. So, anyways, hope this helps you guys, and uh, hope to see you guys out on the track. Thanks for watching.